Over the years, Photoshop has been becoming easier and easier and it's starting to blow my mind. And I'm not talking about AI. Let me show you what I mean. I want to remove one of the tassels from this hat. So back in the old days, I might have chosen the healing brush tool and just get as close as I can. Then I might have gone to the clone stamp tool, but you have to choose all to make lots of different selections and it just wasn't very efficient. And then you have repeating patterns, not a great way. So let me show you the new way. It's called the remove tool. It's in the newer versions of Photoshop and it'll cut your workflow in half. The first thing I'm gonna do after selecting the tool is create a new layer and then make sure these two boxes are checked. And I'm gonna zoom in, grab the tool, that's what it looks like, and watch. All I have to do is swipe over the part that I wanna remove, let go, and just like that, it's gone. If you can't find that tool, stay tuned till the end and I'll show you how to find it. Let's see how it does on this teddy bear's ear. I felt like it was a little bit distracting, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Again, I'm selecting the Move tool, and once again, I don't have to try and grab areas from the background. Instead, I just swipe over, and just like that, it's gone once again. If you're not happy with it, all you have to do is swipe over again until you are happy with the results and there we go. That took me about two seconds. So we'll zoom back and do a before and after. So now let's take a look at a few other types of situations where you might use the remove tool. Here's a photo I took a few years ago and I did a composite to make the dress a little bit more dramatic, but in doing so you can see where the edges kind of just cut off right there. And once again, before I would have probably used the clone stamp tool and taken lots of different selections to try and make it look smooth and even. Again, you've got the problem of it just takes forever and then possible repeating patterns. So let's get rid of that. And instead, let's try the remove tool on those edges and see how that does. So the first thing I'm gonna do once again is create a new layer so that we're working non-destructively. And then I wanna make sure sample all layers is selected. And also I'm gonna have it uh, remove with each, with each swipe. So I'm also going to make this a little bit lighter so you can see better what's going on. Um, so let me come back over to my new layer grab the tool and I'm just going to swipe right around those edges. Look at that one swipe and it's already starting to blend and connect those sections a lot more seamlessly. And you can just keep swiping until you like what you see already. It's done a great job. I'm going to do the same thing down here on the bottom. Look at how nice that's turning out. And just one more. There we go. I didn't have to sample any areas. Just keep swiping right over the area. Let's see how it does on this section that's kind of hanging out all by itself. Once again, I'm just gonna paint right over top and let go. And just like that, it is gone. Here's a before and after. Let's turn off that curves, another before and after. Speaking of AI, here's an AI image I made just very quickly and you know, you know the deal with hands, they always have too many fingers, right? So before we had to pretty much just use the clone stamp tool again and it took forever, but watch, I'm just gonna swipe over that pinky finger and we'll see how the remove tool does. There it went, it's gone just like that. Here's before and after. I noticed that her knuckle looks a little too big now uh, so I'm just going to swipe over that knuckle again and just keep swiping until I like how it looks. And just that quickly, we've removed the extra finger. That would have taken forever before. Uh, what about the little piece of break right in front of her fingers? Let's help see how the remove tool does on that. So once again, I'm going to just swipe right over top of that and we'll see how it does. Okay, so it took out a little bit of her thumb, but not to worry, all we have to do is swipe over that and Photoshop does a really good job of figuring out what those edges should look like. That looks really good. So now I wanna look at the, neck, the other hand and sorry, these are low resolution because it is 
just a quick AI generation, but uh, I wanna see if I can just get rid of this messy part in front. Watch what ends up happening. It built her fingers in where they didn't exist before. Unbelievable, really. Okay, so here's another example. I want to take this girl out of the image, so I'm going to do that. But if you look back in the background, you've got all those window panes that um, back in the day, if you took her out, you would have to paint those each little piece of wood back in. I'm going to see how well it does here. So again, just paint it over top of what I want to remove and she's gone. It looks like I need a little bit of touch touch up work over here, but it's super easy to do. Just paint over the areas that you want to remove. There's a quick before and after. And look, it created that window pane all by itself. But look down here, um, there's a little section that isn't connected. Watch, all I have to do again is paint right over top of it. I can't believe it created those window panes so perfectly again. So there's a before and after, and then you can just swipe over any other little sections or touch-ups that you need to do. This is really incredible. If you're just starting out in Photoshop, oh, you have no idea how much better this is. So now I'll quickly explain how to get this tool if you don't see it in your toolbar. Go to Edit Toolbar, and on the right-hand side, you'll see a lot of different tools that you may not have showing up in your toolbar, and right there is the Remove tool. All you have to do is click on that and then over here on the left hand side is your toolbar so just click and drag it over and that's going to show up on your toolbar wherever you decide to place it so there it is